Hello and welcome to a guide for Jin. Jin is one of the most popular champions in higher elos such as Emerald and Diamond, and for a good reason. Even though he got recently nerfed, his damage is still insane, and his ability to out kite enemies is also extremely useful. In this guide, I'll be going over his build, runes, abilities, and mechanics. And then after that, I'll be giving you some tips and tricks and be doing a rundown of his game plan. If you enjoy the content on this channel, please drop a like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers and I have a really cool idea of what I'm going to do for that giveaway. So if you want to stay tuned, please subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind. With that, let's get into the video. Okay, so Jin's passive is that his cannon carries 4 shots before needing to reload. And his attack speed does not change. His attack speed only changes with his levels. And all attack speed will be converted into attack damage. Jin's first skill launches a grenade that deals physical damage according to 40% of his attack damage plus 60% of his ability power. And this grenade can bounce onto up to four targets and it gains damage every time that it kills. So it cannot bounce to a target that's already been hit with the grenade, but it deals more damage every time it kills a target and then bounces again. Jin's second skill fires a shot which deals some damage and it deals damage to all the minions or monsters that are hit along the way but it will stop as soon as it hits a champion if the target that he hits with this skill ha has already been hit by an uh, allied champion or by Jin or by his lotus traps in the last four seconds they become rooted and Jin gains a burst of movement speed now this skill is extremely long range so you can use this to snipe enemies and also to CC them to root them and so your teammates can finish them off. Jin's third skill places a trap that deals damage after enemies walk over it. First it slows enemies by 30% which is a change from 45% because it got nerfed and it'll deal damage according to his attack damage plus a percentage of his ability power. Also, a trap will spawn wherever enemies get killed. If an enemy gets killed, then a lotus trap will spawn where they were killed. Lastly, Jin's ultimate, Curtain Call, which is one of the most flashy ultimates in the game, fires four shots at a huge range. The shots stop at the first champion hit and slows at champions that are hit by 80% for 0.75 seconds and deal extra damage for the missing health that enemies have and the fourth shot will crit for 200% damage which is just insane especially when the enemies are low Jin's first combo and the one that he wants to use when he wants to root an enemy quickly is using his first skill, then following up with his second skill to root the enemy, and lastly hitting them with an auto attack. This is used when you want to quickly CC the enemy to root them really quickly so that your support can follow up with more damage or just to finish them off. Jin's combo that he wants to use after his enemy has ran into a lotus trap is using his third skill, then using his second skill to root the enemy, auto attacking, then using his first skill, and then an a follow up with another auto attack.
Jin's third combo that he wants to use when he wants to trade in lane is first auto attacking, then using his first skill and second skill, and then following up with an auto attack. And this will guarantee the max damage that you can have with your skills. Jin's final combo is his ult all in and this can be used to damage your opponent and then go all in and surprise them by flashing over a wall and bursting them down. You'll see after I do the combo. So first you shoot all four of your ult shots then immediately after you hit them with your W while they're still slowed. After that you flash over the wall auto attack, use your first skill, and then follow up with one more auto attack. The first item that Jin wants to buy is Guardian Angel. Not only does Guardian Angel give him attack damage and armor, it also allows him to resurrect if an enemy assassin or an enemy carry bursts him down. Now this is great when because his runes he takes champion and with champion every time you die you lose 5% of your attack damage against enemy champions. So this is a great item to ensure that he does not lose that 5% of extra damage. After that, he wants to take Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge is an item that really synergizes really well with Jin. It gives him attack damage and also gives him bonus damage for critical hits, which synergizes really well with his forced shot and allows it to deal a lot more damage. For his third item, he wants to get boots. You can also rush boots earlier if you're up against an assassin and you need to buy the stasis. For his boots, he usually wants to go boots of swiftness. However, if the enemy team comp is mostly AD, then he wants to go ninja tabby. If the enemy team comp is mostly AP, he wants to go merc treads. If you don't know what AD or AP is and you don't know how to itemize properly, and you find yourself building the same exact items in the same exact order every single game, then you should probably check out my itemization guide because over there I explain everything in depth for you to know how to build your champions properly. Anyways, on top of the boots, you want to be getting the Zhonya's Hourglass against Assassins and team comps that can burst you down extremely quickly. However, if they have more CC, the QSS is much better in helping you to get away and also chasing enemies with the extra burst of movement speed that it gives you. After that, you want to be getting Rapid Fire Cannon because this will give you more attack speed which is translated to attack damage and also increased critical rate which also translates into attack damage. This allows you to deal more damage from a range and this item allows you to kite better and also to poke enemies from a farther distance. After that, you want to be getting two situational items. The first situational item you can get is Mortal Reminder. And Mortal Reminder applies Grievous Wounds, so it's especially good against enemy team comps that have lots of healing or vamp. For example, comps that include Soraka, this item is great against that champion. However, if you're up against a lot of burst-oriented champions, like Assassins, then Phantom Dancer is a great item for you, as it will give you more AD, as well as a shield that will absorb some damage. You can also be taking an item like Shiv for the increased damage against multiple enemies. It's a great item that synergizes well with him. For more roaming, you want to be taking Yumu's Ghost Blade. 
Again, if you don't know where I'm getting these items from or how they work, then you can go check out my itemization guide as I explain all of these things in depth there. Okay, for Jin's runes, you want to be taking fleet footwork first because this rune synergizes with his kiting ability. This will allow you to heal some health as well as grant some movement speed at, at a certain amount of stacks. After that, you want to get Champion, which synergized with Guardian Angel allows you to deal 10% extra damage throughout the entire game if you don't die. This is important to place more safe and prioritize your own safety over getting kills because every time you die you will lose 5% of your damage against champions. Next you want to be taking Spirit Walker for the max health and tenacity. However, you can also take loyalty to gain AR and MR. This is great for yeah, the extra bonus AR and MR. If you want a different item and you feel like the enemy has more poke, then regeneration is a great item for you as you'll be genera uh, regenerating missing health for every few seconds. After that, for your last rune, you want to be taking Sweet Tooth, which increases your healing that you get from the honey fruits and also provides extra gold. This is also for sustain so that you can survive longer and not lose your champion stacks. For Jin spells, you want to be taking Flash for its versatility. With Flash, you can engage and disengage a lot easier and also get away from sticky situations because Jin does not have a dash. Next, you want to be taking Heal because it gives him a burst of movement speed. However, for your second spell, you can also be taking Barrier against um, team comps that have more burst oriented champions. Also, you can be taking Exhaust if you want to be slowing key enemy targets in team fights. However, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend Heal or Barrier over Exhaust. The final spell that's viable for Jin is Ignite. However, this is risky because you're not taking a des defensive spell. The trade-off is that you get to hit enemies with Grievous Wounds as well as extra damage. However, don't take this item if you don't feel safe around the enemy team comp as a spell like heal or barrier can often save you. Some tips and tricks I have for Jin is using his lotus traps efficiently. Now there are multiple reasons why you want to use his lotus traps. The first one is to slow an enemy. This is an okay use of the trap and it can also root the enemy. However, there are other uses of the lotus trap. For example, you can use his lotus trap to get vision in bushes. While his lotus traps won't provide as much vision as a ward, it'll still be there and good enough to spot incoming ganks and to spot enemies hiding in the small brushes such as the pixel brush. Next, his lotus traps can be used in choke points near the baron pit and the dragon pit to control objectives and to slow enemies. This ability is a great tool for getting enemies where you want them and also slowing them and if it hits, it'll deal a nice AOE damage. Lastly, my last tip for Jin is using his ultimate efficiently. His ultimate is not very good as an engage tool as the four shots will deal less damage because the extra damage that comes from his ultimate's passive is there to deal extra damage for every percent of missing health that the enemy has. This means that when you use your ultimate, the bullets will deal more damage the lower that the enemy champ's health is. So instead of using his ult as an engage tool, it's much better used as a, diseng as a tool to chase enemies that are running away. His ultimate also deals more damage to objectives like Baron and Dragon if they are lower. So it's not a bad idea to try to go for some steals with his ultimate as the da extra damage from his ultimate can help you steal these key objectives. So that's it for my Jin guide. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe as I spent a lot of time on this guide especially. 
I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope that it helped you in some way. If it did, please drop a like and subscribe as it would really be encouraging for me. Right now, we're almost at 100 subscribers, so if we could get there, that'd be amazing. Once we hit 100, I'm going to be doing an event, a giveaway, and it's a really interesting one, so stick around if you're down for that. Shout out to this guy who wanted the guide and left a comment in the comment section. I made it for him, so I hope it helped you. Also, if you want a guide for your main, please leave a comment down below. I saw one for Arulian Soul on my last video, so I'll be trying to make that. Some of the Jun gameplay comes from Life is Cancer's channel, so check him out if you want to see some pro Jun gameplay. With that being said, I think that wraps up this video, and I will see you soon. Bye!